Hey, this is Jockin from ProTech Tips coming at you with a fresh tip on how to remove Get Windows 10 update and application adware from your computer once and for all. You know, I've had a lot of trouble with this update. Microsoft really wants to push this update, trying to get you to update. And for any number of reasons you may not want to, personally, I don't want Windows 10. Maybe I'll check it out later, but for right now, no. So I'm done playing whack-a-mole with Microsoft. I've went through tons of methods, you know, taking full permissions of the GWX folder, trashing it, disabling updates, all kinds of monkey stuff. No matter what you do, it pops back like whack-a-mole. So I'm done playing whack-a-mole. All right, so to get to it, uh, this first step is optional, and it involves just showing hidden folders in your computer. So you can go to your start bar, type folder options, hit enter. Click on the view tab. Make sure the show hidden files and folders option is selected. Close it. Now this will allow you to see if you have these hidden folders in your C drive, Windows BT and Windows WS. If you see those, you want to trash them. Those are junk Windows 10 update folders taking up anywhere from 5 to 15 gigabytes of space. It's a lot of junk. All right, now we're going to Google GWX Control Panel. It's a nice, convenient GUI that does all the work for you, pretty much. It gets around this uh, annoying adware. So when you do that, go to this Ultimate Outsider website, and you want to click on Standalone Executable. You want to run this. You don't really need to install it when you got a portable version there. So download that. Once you do that, you're going to run the EXE, hit accept, and your panel should pop up something like this. Now my options look different because I've already removed all the folders, but I'll show you what to do. So first you can click delete Windows 10 program. This will remove the application in the GWX folder under C drive Windows System 32. After you do that, you can click Delete Windows 10 Folders if you haven't done that above. And that'll trash those big junk folders. Next, you want to disable Windows OS upgrades so you don't get the Windows 10 upgrade. You can obviously change this later if you want, but I don't know why you would. Okay, this is also optional. Change Windows Update Settings to notify you, you of updates but let you choose to install them. I personally do this if you're not very tech savvy and you just want auto updates that's fine. And lastly you want to click your clear Windows Update Cache button. Oops. And yes look at that deleted 1613 files. Good God. Lots of junk. And you can always clear this cache whenever you want later as well. It's good to clear it if you don't need it, which you don't really need those junk files. Okay. So if you did everything right, let's close out the app, the control panel, and then restart it. Just to check, and if everything is well, you should have these statuses. On the right, app not found, app not found, no, no, not found. It means none of this is here, it's deleted. And you don't need this monitor mode status as well. So, that is how to fully get rid of it. Never have to deal with that pesky application again. And I hope this was helpful. Okay, thank you. Take care.